Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment we're going to install Windows 7 Beta. Um, I did make this video the day it came out, so this is fresh to me, I haven't seen this before. Um, I'm making this video more for um, the techie guys that I know that are going to probably play with this, as well as the home users that are going to play with this or install it as a primary OS. Not recommended though guys, wait till the full version's out. But being a techie, you know, we want to see all stuff new right away, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to leave our language to the defaults. We'll go ahead and click on Next and Install Now. And right now it looks a lot like Vista, but it's called Windows 7. But we will be recreating new videos on the new features so that you guys can see them as the operating system progresses from beta to release. So, um, you know, don't start, you know, beating it up yet just because it looks like Vista a lot. Um, we'll get to the new features later. So. We'll accept the license agreement, we'll click on next, and it's not an upgrade, it's a custom advanced slash fresh install. We'll click on drive options here so we can actually partition our drive and click on new. And we're going to use the entire 16 gigs that we've dedicated. And we get a little warning, not warning, uh, Windows saying that we're going to take a couple hundred megs pretty much for uh, uh, system files. So this is the part that typically takes about 20 minutes. I think the entire thing took me roughly 22 to 23 minutes to complete, um, but we're going to skip over a lot of this so you don't have to watch, you know, like as always, I don't want you guys to watch the whole thing. I do keep a little bit of it in there, especially for the home users, so they can actually see the progression of the install, um, but I'm not going to keep all of it, obviously. As you can see, expanding files is done, and that's what actually takes the majority of the time. So it's installing features, it's installing updates, it's going to complete the install and uh, go ahead and reboot our system shortly. All right, so there we go. Restarting in eight seven six five four three two one, and the system's going to reboot. And you'll see the reboot process is actually pretty quick. Um, depending on the system you have, it obviously the the, uh, the install will you know take longer or shorter amount of time. But I found that the install was pretty quick. It was faster than Vista. And I've done this with Vista quite a few times, uh, and we'll be making a Vista video for the home users soon. All right, so it's rebooting. It's starting Windows and should be up shortly. Setting up our registry settings. Alright, so nothing has to be done at this time, no user interaction. <coughs> Starting up our services. A lot like Vista, eh guys? Alright, so it's completing our installation for us. This takes a bit of time usually. We'll skip over it and our system will reboot one more time. Alright, so it's booting back up again. And now set up as always like every other Windows install. It's preparing our computer for first use. couple more minutes and the entire install will be complete. You'll see that when we first bring it up, um, you know, it's going to ask us for a username or a name of the computer and so on. Alright, so here we go. Windows 7 Ultimate. Choose a name for your computer or for your account, sorry. Um, we're going to use Snapcase in this case and it automatically fills in Snapcase-PC for the name of our computer, but you can change that if you like. We'll keep it at that. We'll click on Next. We'll type a password and obviously type in the most secure one you'll remember. Uh, type a password hint. In this case we'll type in something like, uh, I don't know, lab typical or something. Because we have typical passwords for our labs. Alright, so we can automatically activate Windows. We're going to go ahead and just type in our license key here. We're going to use our recommended settings for computer security, so the Windows uh, personal firewall and so on. We'll leave those on. We'll go next. We'll change our time zone to be our eastern time zone. Give me a second. All right. We'll click on next. All right. This is a home network, so we'll choose home in this case. We'll click on next. Alright, connecting to your network, applying settings.
right? So do you want to create a home group? Um, here we can select the libraries and devices we want to share with our home group, uh, whether or not we want to create a home group. If you want a home group, there's the default secure password it gives you, so you'll need the password to add other users to your home group. Okay, so we'll leave that as is. We'll write down that password. We'll click on Next. So Windows will finalize all of our settings and bring up our desktop for the first time. A lot like Vista, like I said, guys, nothing, nothing crazy different, but again, we haven't actually logged in and started to play with a lot of the other features that Windows have put into Windows 7, uh, but we will create videos for that, uh, with for, the, for those features for you. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you install it. You'll see that the, uh, the start menu is pretty much the same as Vista, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming out.